what is up everyone welcome to my channel my name is Alcenio and I am a blogger and photographer based in New York City and I'm starting a new vlog here and I wanted to get here on camera and just basically let you guys know that I'm starting a new weekly vlog and this video is gonna be a week in my life things that I get up to in New York City I recently just came back from traveling and you know it feels really good to be back in New York City if you didn't know I do live in New York City and I've been living here my whole life and I'm a New Yorker at heart born and raised so I've been here my whole life and I wanted to just show you guys what it's like to be in New York especially after you know the panini and <laughs> You know, I wanted to show you guys what it's like, especially after the panini. Every time I say that, I just crack up laughing. But after everything that's happened, New York is back well and alive. And I can't wait to show you guys what it's like because it's absolutely amazing. May in New York is my favorite month to visit New York and be here and just be outside. And the weather has been very much like summer. So we're gonna go to a bunch of rooftops, check out what it's like in New York, and just really show you guys what it's like for my life here. And I hope you guys find this helpful. I hope you find it insightful, and it'll give you some inspiration to visit New York and maybe live in New York one day. So yeah, that's what's going on with this vlog, and I'm very excited to just have something to share every week and just show you and document my life and my journey as it progresses as someone who works for themselves and someone who lives in New York, has been in New York, and just wants to create the best life possible for themselves. So I hope you guys stay tuned. And yeah, let's get started with the rest of my day. Yes, yeah, so today I am working on my computer and we're planning a trip to Europe, so I'm very excited for that. It was just recently announced that the EU has opened up for vaccinated travelers and I actually am fully vaccinated and I got my two doses of the Pfizer vaccine, which if you guys are interested, I can share with you what my experiences was with that and how I felt and that sort of thing, but that's besides the point. The point is, is that we're going to Europe and we're going to our favorite country and place in the world and I will be sharing more about that but if you can guess where we're going uh, yeah. <laughs> if you can guess where we're going um, leave a comment down below and let me know where you think we're going just as a tip I actually have a few videos where I vlogged there already a few years ago so it's our favorite place in the world and I'm very excited to be back we will be there in June uh, for about two weeks and just really enjoying this beautiful place. So yeah, leave a comment down below letting me know what you think it is. I also just got back from traveling for about two weeks in Cancun and Miami. I'll insert some clips here if I have some of what we did. We went to Miami and Cancun and we experienced some really great all-inclusive resorts which I absolutely had an amazing time at and you know, um, I have a favorite all-inclusive resort in Cancun now. It's actually the LeBlanc Resort and Spa. Oh my God, that resort is absolutely incredible. It's worth every single penny, and I highly, highly, highly recommend that if you have the budget to splurge and really enjoy yourself and you know, you get what you pay for. So it, it was a really great experience. Miami was also great. I love Miami. I always go to Miami and I hope to live there one day. I feel like I always say that in videos, but it's a definitely always a good time and always a good idea. And now that the weather is getting really good, I have recently started getting back to my fitness journey. So as I'm sure most of you are getting back into your summer bodies and really trying to live a better, healthier lifestyle. Um, I recently uh, rejoined my gym because of the pandemic, but yeah, I'm going back. And so um, I've been doing that and getting ready for this vacation and just the whole summer and just trying to look and feel as good as, as possible. So very excited for that. I've been working out every day and mostly focusing on um, weight training and cardio. So yeah, that's all that's new. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of work done on emails and then I'll probably head to the gym and do a quick workout before um, enjoying the rest of my evening. Also, I have a home office or desk set up in my, um, near my living room area, like a den area, but I also wanted to share um, the little makeshift home office setup that I do when I want to like, you know, switch it up and try something new and just switch it up a bit and this is my setup so i have my macbook pro and um it's on our dining table and i have my and i have this laptop stand that is really really great because it just brings the laptop up to eye level 
and I have just this Logitech keyboard and I attach it through here because it isn't Bluetooth but I still really like this keyboard and my Logitech my Logitech MX Master 3 Bluetooth wireless mouse it's ergonomic and I absolutely love it and it's great for editing YouTube videos as well always have my Leuchtsturm bullet journal notebook here and just my phone and getting some work done before I head to the gym Something else that I wanted to show you guys was my closet that I recently just reorganized. It's not so much that it's like, you know, a transformation or anything, but some might say that it is. I hung up most of my um, spring and summer um, tops and outfits here. I folded all of my jeans that were once on a, inside of a drawer, and I folded all of my um, t-shirts long sleeves and sweaters I did want to store these for the spring and summer season but I decided just to leave them there I might change my mind later but basically they're all folded neatly and all my seasonal tops are ready here and um, I also have this alpha container store which has more room because I took out the jeans and I put my sunnies over here and some other accessories and my fragrances are over there as well. One of the best features about this closet that I recently just did, and I got it on Amazon, so if you guys are interested, I will leave a link down below, but I got these two lights from Amazon, and they are rechargeable LED strip lights that are magnetic and attached to the top of your closet, and they illuminate this area so well, and it just makes it feel like a walk-in closet, and you know, I'm not near a window with a lot of natural light, so in the mornings, at nighttime, um, it's really helpful, and during laundry, folding time, it's really helpful to have this lighting. And what's great about them is that they're rechargeable and they're motion sensor, so when I open it, it automatically lights up 95% of the time, but I absolutely love them. There's a button here that you can also click to make it um, manual, so that's really cool as well, but I'll show you guys what it's like before the lighting so this is what it looks like without the um, lights and let me show you what it looks like with the lights and let me show you what it looks like with the lights so so much better I don't know if it's picking up on camera but honestly like it's so nice to have all this lighting and you get to see like your outfits before you put it on you could either mount them through um, screws or much easier let that I would recommend is to use the magnetic strip that it comes with and there you go you have a custom closet I'll let you guys know how long the battery lasts and how I like them over time all right, so I'm headed to the gym and I just have my running shorts, my running sneakers, and a workout tank. So yeah, we're gonna go to the gym and have a good workout. So I am back from the gym and I feel so good. There's nothing like a good workout. You know, that feeling that you get of accomplishment and just knowing that you are going to achieve your goals, that you're on your way to whatever fitness goals that you have or lifestyle goals that you may have for yourself. So I showed you guys um, me working out on the treadmill. 
I just got back into going to the gym during the pandemic. I was definitely, you know, more so working out from home. I even bought like a weight set that you may have seen in another vlog, but yeah, I spent a few hundred dollars on the weights and it was during a time when New York City, like the, the gyms were closed. So I needed something to work out with and I had like some trips that were coming up. And so I wanted to be fit for that, but I will be using those, especially when the gyms get busy or if I go during a time where it's like super hectic at the gym and a lot of people are using like the free weights or machines and that sort of thing. So it's always good to have um, any workout at home equipment for like a quick, easy workout if you don't want to go to the gym. Yeah, so I just, I'm easing into it and I'm doing my treadmill work. I do intermittent, I do interval training. So I do like, you know a few minutes of brisk walking um and then i go into you know a few minutes of a really fast pace that's what i do and i do that for like 45 minutes if i want to burn extra calories i'll do it for like an hour but yes i want to get into using the free weights and the machines at the gym as i build this habit of going to the gym itself and i think and it's always worked for me i just have to like get back into the habit so and the great thing is that the gym is not too far from my apartment so i love the proximity i don't live in a building that has an in-building gym that comes with the apartment so that's a con and interestingly enough i used to live in one of those buildings and i never used to go so the fact that i have to pay for it makes me want to go even more you know there's pros and cons to everything but for me i actually like going away from my building because I feel like it gets me out of the house as well. I'm going to probably have some dinner soon. We are going to make some salmon and probably with some asparagus and I might do some potatoes, um, some mashed potatoes, like a very small portion or just keep it to veggies. We're going to enjoy the rest of the evening and get into dinner later. All right, so now it's time for dinner. Like I said, we're going to um, actually have mashed potatoes with salmon and asparagus. I just peeled the potatoes, um, the skin of the potatoes, and we're gonna prep and season the salmon. Put the season the asparagus and then put it in the oven. So I gotta preheat the oven. And yeah, so um, I'm gonna show you um, us prepping right now. peeled the potatoes we're just having some white like russet potatoes and we peeled them and cubed them then I just uh, peeled some garlic and we're going to use this to kind of like grate it on the salmon and rub it in as well as on the asparagus itself and then we just added um, some olive oil some seasonings like salt pepper and we're gonna put it in the oven the oven is preheated and um, we're just boiling the potatoes and then the salmon is gonna go on the cast iron skillet and yeah that's going to be the dinner for tonight and of course um, just some just a glass of wine before and during dinner to round it all off all right so we have the oh, uh, timer just went off that's okay Timer went out for the oven, um, so that means our asparagus is done. We have the salmon searing on the flesh side, and the tomato, I mean, the potatoes are done. We just are mixing up all the seasonings. That looks so good. So the salmon is just about done and our asparagus is also done. We just have to add a little bit of fresh Pecorino Romano cheese and we're going to dig in guys. I will show you the final result. So here is the final result and of course we have our glass of wine and we're going to put a bit of lemon. I already added the Pecorino Romano over the asparagus but just a little bit of lemon over everything. All right, time to dig in. Oh, that was so delicious. I made the mashed potatoes really good, but I didn't add too much butter. The salmon was delicious. I add 
some garlic and I like kind of like baste it and or baste it however you say it and I put the butter all over the top of the flesh and um, let it kind of um, marinate and now I'm just having a glass of wine and we are watching some YouTube and just relaxing and enjoying the evening. So I'm just going to check in with you guys tomorrow and, and I'm going to check in with you guys tomorrow and just relax for the evening. So I'll see you guys very soon. Good morning you guys or good afternoon here. Uh, I spent the whole morning just wrapping up some things for the week for work and planning our trip to Europe which is going to be in about three weeks so you know it's been a lot of planning and doing that sort of thing so it's just been a little bit crazy because they just announced the border opening like I told you guys and then all of a sudden we have to plan a full two-week itinerary and there's so many logistics when you go to Italy oh <laughs> I just told them. So the cat's out of the bag, it just slipped out, but we are going to Italy and we are going to be visiting again the Amalfi Coast in Italy. If you've never been there, it is absolutely stunning. I'll put some photos here of when we went to Italy together and it is the most beautiful, romantic, and dreamy place. I'm very excited and you know, going places like that and that place in particular, there's so many logistics that go into it. So we're very excited and we just got some work done and then now we have an event to go to this is like the first work slash blogger event in new york in a while first official event that we've been to so it should be interesting yeah we are ready to go and we're gonna go downtown it's the uh cafe opening at the longchamp boutique which is like a fashion brand in soho in new york city so i'll show you guys all around and what we get up to and what new york is like and the event so we are ready right to now. go <laughs> and we're gonna head out now so this is the store and they just arranged this floral installation right here which i think is really cool so we're just gonna pop into the store and check out the cafe so you have to see like how beautiful this space is like just imagine having all this space to yourself and coming to go shop and then you can just hang out at this cafe look at the little setup that they have at each table so cool so these are the pastries and beverages that you can get here at the cafe this is the no, no, no. Uh, and I look at these pastries they look so good yeah that looks beautiful and this is a little bit about the history of the brand and the location and all the stores that they've had in the US and Paris. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, it's so cool. It comes in these reusable cups. You can just remove the cap. We ordered iced lattes with oat milk. So I'm gonna taste this and see how I like it. We made it to one of our favorite restaurants in New York. We're at Ruby's and you guys know that I absolutely love this restaurant. The fries are so good and the, I think it's like a shrimp dish. I'm sure it's like a shrimp pasta, but it's really good. And they brought back the frozen margaritas. It's like seasonal, so they don't always have it. Um, after the event, um, we went to shop um, a little bit and I got this um, Herschel, Herschel bag so I really like wearing this bag in the summer because I can put like my phone my camera my wallet and you know I don't like having anything in my pockets because it's like really bulky and um, they don't really fit in the summer and I don't want to have like a backpack or anything like that so it's just perfect I picked it up at uh, TJ Maxx so now we are going to order some margaritas and have some dinner slash late lunch <laughs> Yeah. Hey, we got the frozen margaritas, you guys. This is like a must when you're in Ruby's. Like these are so good. And look, and look at it. It's like it has the logo, the straw, and yeah, they're delicious. Cheers. Happy Friday. The star of the show, 
the shrimp pasta is absolutely amazing. Went to dig in and highly recommend you guys try it. They have um, the tomatoes, the cherry tomatoes, breadcrumbs, and the shrimp are to die for. Oh my god. So today is Saturday and we just had a late start to the day. Yesterday we had a great time. We went to Ruby's and had uh, one too many margaritas. Um, we had a great time. They always bring the margaritas back in the summer and we always like ask for them and then they finally bring them back but they're so good but word of caution they will get you messed up so if you are a lightweight or if you get drunk really easily just have one or two because they are pretty deadly anyway we are going to brunch and we are going to a spot not too far from us yeah it's a place that we always see when we um walk by it and always thought that we should go check it out mm -hmm. 